Yes, Ben and Micah, a bulletproof vest only lasts about five years. That's when the material starts to break down, and it's no longer as safe as it once was for the officer who wears it. Tonight's event here at Pippin's Tavern raised money so that bulletproof vests can be purchased for the men and women of CPD. It's a dangerous job and to wear a protective vest gives them a fighting chance to survive if the worst case scenario does happen and they take a bullet in the course of their job. Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins hosted the Get Behind the Vest event tonight. The money raised goes towards protecting the police officers who work to protect Chicago. When a police officer gets on the job, he's given his first vest by the city, so he doesn't have to pay for that. But vests, replacement vests are $500. To offset the costs to officers, the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation started Get Behind the Vest. And we've provided almost 12,000 replacement vests to Chicago police officers, and I think over seven. 70 police officers' lives have been saved since they began wearing bulletproof vests. So that's a lot of husbands, fathers, sons, brothers, and mothers and sisters making it home to their families that wouldn't have if they didn't have one. CPD officers like Sergeant Christopher Shank are now a little safer thanks to the program. This is a vest that they, you know, they helped as far as assistance, as far as getting new vest. Can't thank them enough. Truly appreciate it. Shank has been in law enforcement for 27 years. He says a bulletproof vest is vital. As far as my safety is concerned and the safety to protect the public and the safety of the public, it helps tremendously. The goal of the event was not only to raise money, but to make sure police know there are people in the community who have their back. And support them in a way that can literally save their life. It's really the most important thing we can do to express gratitude. And tonight's Get Behind the Vest event raised around $30,000 for this organization. That's going to allow them to buy around 40 bulletproof vests for CPD. Reporting live in River North, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.